So Discord has released a lot of cool new beta features like the forums and stuff, and I really want forums, and a lot of people do. And this desperation is actually exploited by scammers to get you into downloading software that can not only steal your Discord account, but steal all your passwords in your browser. So it kind of sucks balls. Speaking of balls, let's talk about this video sponsor, Manscaped. I used to have the hairiest and smelliest balls on the planet. Every time I sat on Discord for hours on end, I amassed an unbearable stench. Thankfully, Manscaped sent me their Perfect Package 4.0 to make my package perfect. Their Lawnmower 4.0 is a waterproof trimmer that can cut any jungle down. Ceramic blades and adjustable guards prevent cuts that result in you bleeding out and dying a miserable death. And if you are in an area where the sun does not shine, the LED spotlight allows you to see what in the gosh darn heck and you're doing? The Perfect Package 4.0 comes with their Crop Preserver, which is a ball deodorant that smells great and prevents chafing. However, if you have some stench after a long gaming session and want a quick fix, just pss, pss, use that Crop Reviver spray. Also, if you get the Perfect Package 4.0, you get Manscaped anti-chafing underwear and the Shed Travel Bag to keep all your tools organized. If you want to pick up the Perfect Package 4.0 or any of Manscaped's other products, click the link in the description and use code NOTEXT at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. Thank you Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Now getting back on topic, I basically replicated what scammers might use to try and trick you into downloading this scam or virus, and basically it's just saying like get new Discord beta features here or unlock the new forms feature, and there's these two links. Now both of these links are actually valid, but thankfully Chrome does give me a massive warning saying that they're are both dangerous. So that is something that you should look out for. Now before I dive into these scams, I just want to say that you can get Discord's kind of beta clients from the forum posts that I have linked in the description, and this is from Discord themselves, support.discord. Let me be honest though, I've used PTB, the public test beta, for a while, and in all honesty, I haven't really gotten a beta feature. Most of the features, if you get any, are so minuscule that most people really don't care. So just keep that in mind. You have to be lucky because it's all server side and they pick it based on your ID and, you know, all this other weird discord stuff it's all spooky magic stuff until we can figure it out so now that i've crushed your hopes and dreams let's actually look into this scam and this virus what happens is that they tell you to download something now it's a discord setup.zip as you can see in the bottom left and it's actually the same link for both of these websites so you can tell that they're connected they're by the same person now, if you actually download this file, this zip file, and you throw it into VirusTotal, thankfully there actually is a couple of detections from Dr. Webb and Zillia saying, hey, look, it's a password stealer, and this one's a Trojan, so, you know, stay very far away. And if you go to the Community tab, you have a couple of people saying that it's Discord Token Stealer Malware. And to validate whether or not this is actually, you know, a malicious file, the beautiful big brains that I keep alluding to, who completely helped me with a lot of these scam videos, threw this in a website called Triage, which is a VM kind of analysis tool that allows you to put in files, test them in a VM, and that will kind of spit out of what's going on. In this case, when you open up the zip file, you get an exe file, and guess what? Basically what happens is that this software goes and finds your stored browser data and just sends it off to the scammer. Let's simplify it that way. And how does this work? Well, most people, when they use web browsers, they'll enter in a password on a website and it'll automatically save. Chrome will have a little pop-up, and most people click yes because it's convenient. When you go on the website, it automatically fills. The unfortunate thing about this, though, is that that each web browser saves it in a very specific spot. And these scammers, these hackers, exploit that. They just go to where those passwords are, they scoop them up, and then they send them right off to them. So now they have your username and your password for any website that is saved on your browser, which I mean, I'm not a rocket scientist here, but that's really bad. So what that means is that if you haven't been hacked yet, it's a really good idea to not save your passwords in Chrome. I would save it in a password manager like Bitwarden, but please, please, please make sure that you don't have it so that when you open up the browser, your passwords are accessible in Bitwarden because that saves it as a local file. Rather, you want it so that if you close the browser, you have to put in a pin or put in your password again and make sure for your password manager, you're using the craziest, longest password that only you know that you've never used on any website. All right, rant over. So what else does this program do? It does computer hackery stuff and it'll actually take your Discord token. Okay, that's cool and all. I mean, it just stole my token. What happens if it steals my token? Well, you have to change your Discord password and it'll reset your token. So am I all good? Does that mean all I need to do is just change my passwords and change my Discord token and I'm completely good to go? No, nowhere close. When you download something on the internet that is malicious, 
you have to assume that your whole entire computer is completely compromised. And why is that? Well, basically what happens is that these malwares will hide in your computer in extremely hard to find places. The best thing to do is always make backups and have those backups separate from your computer. So use an external hard drive, back up your important files, and then unplug the hard drive when you're using your computer. That makes it so if you do get hacked, either through some you know ransomware software that encrypts your whole drive, you won't lose out on those precious family photos or the terabytes and terabytes of adult film content you have stored on that hard drive. So what happens if you download one of these malicious files? Well, unfortunately, you have probably the worst day you've ever had in front of you. What you need to do is you need to first disconnect your device from the internet, the one that got hacked, just so that you can't send any other additional information to the scammer. Then what you need to do next is you actually need to go to your Chrome passwords or your Firefox passwords, and you need to change them. However, don't change it on the infected device. What you need to do is go on your phone or go on a different computer and change your passwords from there. Also, what you want to do is that anytime you change one of those passwords, just delete that kind of password from Chrome. That'll make it easy so you can keep track of what passwords you've changed already and which passwords you haven't changed. And also, start from like the important accounts. Don't save your Club Penguin account. Make sure to change the password on your bank account first, your Gmail first, the important stuff first, please, because time is of the essence here. And once you change all your passwords, then uh, you have one more thing to do, and it's clear all the malware on your computer. Now, people do suggest using stuff like Tronscript. There will be a link in the description. However, uh, sometimes I don't fully trust it, as in, like, I don't trust it taking all the malware out of my computer. If you want to be 100% certain that you don't have malware on your computer, then you need to completely nuke your computer. And the way to do that is you basically need to format all your drives. Then what you need to do is go on a different computer, get an install USB of Windows, install Windows, and it should reinstall Windows and basically act as if it was a whole entire new computer. And let me tell you, the five to six to 10 hours you're gonna spend cleaning out that malware and changing your passwords should be a very important lesson on not downloading stuff from the internet and always be skeptical about downloading stuff because it can be completely riddled with malware that will make your day awful. Now, unfortunately the video was pretty serious and that's because chances are they have your bank password and they could log into your bank account and commit tons of fraud so there's a lot of stuff that you need to be careful of so stop please stop downloading random files from strangers on discord but if you have any suggestions on how I should dive deeper into this let me know because I actually do like doing this anyways I love you guys bye bye okay Mwah.